One, two, three. <laughs> So, you're a task handler now. Amazing. No one was more shocked than me. Which server are you working off? MC71. Top server. MC71 is a sci-fi adventure thriller about a woman named Valda Stessen and her struggle to live and stay in a near future version of London which is only catering for the super rich. London has become an independent state and uh, as a result, uh, people living there are finding it very difficult to stay. One of the main themes is how the environment affects an individual, an, ind an individual just trying to make ends meet and go a long way. Not, not necessarily uh, anyone who's a criminal or coming from, you know, like a broken back background, but someone who might actually come from a very normal background. They've had a good upbringing, but you know, what happens then when the uh, environment in which they live is geared in a certain way and what kind of effect it has on them. MC71, the title of the short film, refers to a server. Um, the original test short was called 4T48 and that's what the feature film is going to be called. You know, what, what does that mean? It kind of, you know, what, does, what do these little codes mean? Well, they refer to servers, job servers. Last year, I wanted to enter the Sci-Fi London 48-hour uh, film competition, and I wanted to use my new anamorphic lens that I just bought off the internet. You know, just an old um, projector lens that you could just fit in the front of a camera. And I wanted to use that for the competition, so I thought, well, let's do a lens test, you know. I've always been fascinated with ultra-modern, uh, futuristic-looking uh, architecture. And I thought to myself, well, you know, if I shot it at night with the anamorphic lens, that would look really super futuristic without necessarily having to add a lot of visual effects, which I've, I've done a, a visual effects short film before. And it, there was, an, you know, so many effect shots that it just took forever to finish and to finalize. So I wanted something that could be done pretty quick. So I called up my friend, uh, actress friend, uh, Melissa Clements, uh, who I worked very well with. So we went about London, um, shooting around King's Cross and shooting around Canary Wharf, looking for something very specific that we could then turn into maybe a story. The chance to shoot Anamorphic was really exciting. And when we got that footage back, we were just like, wow. Uh, handed, handed the short film to my longtime collaborator, um, music composer friend. And he, you know, he really liked it. I was only expecting him to use maybe a piece of music that he had lying around because it wasn't really for festivals, this, this little experiment. He came back with a whole brand new score. What we sat back and saw was just great. I had to create a story for it, a concept behind the reason why this little, little story was there. And I realized, wow, this concept I've just created could be a feature film, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a frustrated feature film creator. I've written around five feature scripts, but they're always a bit, no, they're always way too big to be like your first time feature. And I've always been trying to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I realized, wait a minute, we've, I've got it, this is it. We had a character, we had a setting, we had a story for a feature film. And I thought to myself, well, the next stage is to make a, an experimental short film to show people how this feature film might work. I've tried to make the sci-fi not too far forward and not too dominant in the storytelling at this moment in time. I mean, it's going to be present in the, in the lives of how life and how society is constructed. It's going to be completely present in that, in the story. But the, um, what I'm trying to do with, with um, the tech in the short film is just say it's present and it's there and it is a little bit more futuristic, you know? But I don't want it to be dominant, central. To, to the character's struggles, you know? Even though, the, science, even though the, science, the, the, the theme of the state and technology is the environment in which the, 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 the struggle of Valder is occurring, it's a human spirit that's being challenged. 
this is a story about the human technology and the human spirit. This is why, to me, it's 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 a, it's a good science fiction story to tell.